now on all the upcoming videos of this series will be available early for for the members of the channel that means that if you have the membership uh, you will get access to the videos before uh, they will be released to the public it's a great way to stay ahead and support the channel and uh, dive into the content uh, as soon as it's ready thank you so much for all the support and as always happy coding hello and welcome to my youtube channel this is going to be the part three of our multi-platform series and in this video we will talk about actual and expect functions so in the in the previous video what we did is that we basically set up the basic uh structure of the app and we set up the uh, we, we ran the code in like web android and uh, ios and in this video i'll explain a little bit of more stuff uh, that's basically related to uh, kotlin multi-platform and how we can use it so if we go uh, to, to our common main section and inside this common main section go to kotlin kotlin and then go over here into this platform section so over here you can see that we have this interface called name called platform and then you have this expect function that's get platform and it returns a platform to us so what exactly this expect function mean and uh, why it is important so basically uh, there will be uh, there always will be scenarios where you need some sort of platform specific stuff for example the device name device model os version or or like accessing some sort of sensors uh, camera and all these kind of things so there like so there are like stuff that is that runs differently on android differently on ios differently on web so all these things are different and there there will be scenarios where you might not be able to find a sdk or like some sort of existing implementation or component for that so you'll have to write it write your own so so to basically to achieve uh, something uh, from the common side because again as i said our most of the code will be common and uh, if we are using the common code and if we, we want some sort of implementation we would all always want you know if we have a function uh, that function should be available in all platform if let's say if i write a function that basically only available in android so the android application would work but it will not work with ios or web so you know you have to we have to to have some sort of mechanism where if we write something it should be available in all platform so uh, the expect function basically helps help us with the, with writing uh, abstraction of a function. In this case, you can see it's more like an abstract function that we do. Uh, but what exactly this expect does is that it makes sure that you write an implementation for this function in all the other part uh, of the platform. For example, in the common section, you can see we have this platform related stuff get and it says get, get platform. Let's say I write one more function and call it expect a function get name. Let's say I, I write something like this. And like when I write that, you will see that it will start complaining. It will saying that no actual for that expect declaration is available in Android, iOS, uh, Android, iOS, uh, web and uh, the main uh, web and desktop. Okay. So there is like one easy way is to basically press just uh, option enter and if you are on Android it will be alt enter uh, sorry if you are on Windows you will be pressing alt enter and you will see something like this you can just click on that and select you know where where you want your implementation to be for example I, if I have an Android you will directly get an implementation for that Android over here and now over here you can you know you write, write whatever you want for example I'm going to say return Android code with that okay, let's say uh, you, you write something like this for android okay and now you go back to platform it will still be complaining and now you need to do is that let's write for ios I mean you have ios you can return something as return i ios code with fk okay that's that if you go back to platform it will still be complaining so you can say okay let's just write for desktop for desktop you can write something as return desktop code with fk right and then lastly if you write when you write it for the for the web now everything will be fine and now the system will not be complaining 
so now you can see basically now it's not complaining over here in the platform because the all the relevant platform have that functionality if not it will complain and that's basically how expect function work expect work so now the expect is not just about um, simple functionality you can even create your classes for example you can say expect class a like this and it will again like it will give you saying that you can you know you have to write all these things you can create an interface if not class you can create an interface you can create a variable so all these things you can basically create uh, with expect and you have to write actual implementation of that now this expect function can be accessible in the common part uh, anywhere we, where you can access this for example if we go back to android now over here uh, you will see we have this slight compose related stuff that is basically contains a button and an animated visibility of that button and what it does is that basically it takes the greeting which is uh, a greeting class okay and that greeting basically takes the platform from there so basically it takes the get platform functionality the get platform functionality is the expect function now if you go to the greeting and if you see this uh, what i'm going to do is that i'm going to change that and instead i'm going to use the function that i wrote which is the get name so you can di directly access that get name if it's a class you can directly access that class as well so so now when i run this for for let's say for android because android is the faster one among all uh, you will see that the android will now give me the stuff that is related to that basically i wrote in the android main side of the actual function the expect function was you know in the common section and the actual was there and and as i said you can do similar for for the uh, for the classes interfaces variable and all that so it's like not just specific to functionality and this is going to help us a lot you know in future when we will be using it in the actual projects uh, because this is something that's like very common to use when we talk about uh, kotlin multi platform or compose multi platform so i think that was it for today uh, in this video and i'll see you in the next video so till then happy coding bye thank you so much for watching the video if you found this tutorial helpful don't forget to like subscribe and press the bell icon so you don't forget any update if you got any question, you can join my Discord server. The link is in the description. Also, for quick updates and tips, you can follow me on Instagram. Until next time, keep learning, keep developing. Bye.